Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to do 2009 semester 2 MST paper question 2C. Given A equal to 2i, B equal i plus 3j, C equal i plus j plus k, we are going to find part C, which is find the volume of the parallel pipe formed by A, B, C. How do I find the volume of the parallel pipe? And first of all, what is the parallel pipe here? For this, you may want to refer to Howard Anton, chapter 12, section 4. So in this case, in the geometrical properties of scalar triple product, say is if you have three vector u, v, and w, just as I show you here, now this three vector can form a 3D object to show this is called a parallel pipe. So a parallel pipe formed by three vector, in this case is the one in the figure. And how do I find the volume of a parallel pipe? It says that in, in Howard Anton, it says that to find the volume of a parallel pipe, one way to do is form the scalar triple product. Okay, u dot v cross w will give you the volume of the parallel part here. You may want to refer to Howard Venton. Okay, so let me show you some properties of from the Howard Anton book. Uh, the volume of parallel pipe. There's a theorem here says that if u, v, and w a non-zero vector in three space, two-dimensional space, the volume of the parallel pipe has u, v, w as adjacent edges is absolute value of u dot v cos w. Now, there are some other properties which you may need to know. For example, algebraically, u dot v cos w is the same as w dot u cos v or which is actually that means that actually this is actually the same as u cross v dot w because the dot product of are uh, commutative you can change because this is actually the same right so it means that you can interchange the dot and cross product in this case by changing the dot to cross cross with dot and then you do the together with the appropriate brackets. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this method to find the volume of the parallel pipe in this case. So in our case, I have three vector A, B, C, the volume of parallel pipe. So if you have, say, this is A, and then this is B, this is C, the parallel pipe will look something like this. It's a 3D figure. And we want to find out this volume. So volume in this case is equal to A dot B cross C as long as three vectors are there. Or you can also do A cross B dot C. Alright. Now however in part B we have already find out where is A cross B dot C, right? In part 2B, we find that we have A cross B dot C. Let's find out where we have answer. The answer for A dot B cross C in this case is 6. Therefore, I can copy now the answer is Six now. Now this is not really the correct answer because sometimes the top product will give you a minus six. The correct formula, I must stress that there is a absolute value. But in this case, the absolute value of a cross b dot c is still 
six. So for this particular question, what is the key takeaway now? So the key takeaway is if you have a three three vector which form a parallel part here yeah? A, B and C form an adjacent side of parallel part which means that you can form a 3D figure like this then the volume of this thing is A dot B cross C or A cross B dot C with the absolute value. In any case, there's a simple way to do this is you can write A1, A2, A3 for component of A, B1, B2, B3 for component of B, and C1, C2, C3 for component of 3, and then you take the absolute value. There's the end for the recording.